uh, what we have here today for sale is a 1972 Suzuki GT750, uh, nicknamed the Water Buffalo. This is probably the nicest example you would find anywhere. Uh, 3,825 miles. Um, I just put a couple miles on it since I got it out of, uh, from the previous owner who owned it since it was just a few years old. This bike, again, is so well preserved, it's not even funny. Um, beautiful blue. Um, look at the seat. Perfect condition. You know, it's used, but nice, very nice condition. Pliable, soft. The logo is still there. Uh, look at the side covers. Nice condition they are. The emblems, beautiful. This bike's unmolested. It did have a different set of crazy handlebars on it when I got it. I put close to correct handlebars on it. It's supposed to be correct handlebars. Really feels nice. It still has the original grips that are perfect. The controls are beautiful. Levers, everything's intact. Look at the mirror. Um, you can look from the other side. The mirrors have the, Z, the S for Suzuki on them. So it's stock mirrors, stock signals, everything. I did not change the cables. So the speedometer or the uh, throttle cable is extra long. I just routed it so it's not catching. Same way with the two brake cables. They're long, but they work. I did not change the cables. I changed the bars. Uh, this bike's never had any wiring done or alterations. All the wiring is perfect, intact, nice condition, the conduit. And again, the bars are brand new. Uh, original headlamp, nice. The chrome, look how gorgeous the chrome is on this bike. That's original. The fork legs, not tarnished, nor are they uh, peeling, uh, or have they been polished. They're just nice. The brake drum, it's got the du dual leading brakes. Um, spoke wheel, which is a decent spoke wheel. It's not perfect, but there's a little bit of pitting. Uh, the tires are older tires. They, there's too much dry rod on them. But I've been riding it like that, you know, just a few miles I put on it. You might want to consider tires if you buy this motorcycle. But they're nice. They're old style, continental. There they are. Now look how nice the aluminum is on the drum. And again, these early ones, the 72s, are drum brake, and it stops nice. Uh, we actually uh, did a little bit of work on the front brakes. The mechanical parts were stuck and we freed all that, and it really works nice. Um, working our way back, again, the radiator looks like new, the covers, there's some rust on these head bolts, but that's, again, this is original, this bike. You could also notice that none of the screws, none of the screws have ever been changed to Allen bolt, like, that's sort of an indication when you see that, that somebody's been into it. This bike looks very, very, very original. What, in fact, I know it is because I knew the guy that had it. Um, the exhaust, no rust through. There's a little bit of pitting here and there. There's no dents on them. The lower pipe, uh, which is the pipe that splits, um, there's some rust on the backside on the surface rust. But again, these mufflers are nice. It's got the silencer still on them. Uh, you can see it's the original exhaust. Look how nice the chain guard is. Those are plastic, but perfect condition. It's not cracked. Original shocks are on here. I put a new battery in the bike and I put a uh, charging lead there so you can keep it on a trickle charge, which I've had it on. And um, again, look at the back fender. Um, very nice chrome. Tail light, beautiful. You can see the inspection sticker from Pennsylvania is 1988. So that's the last time it was on the highway, 1988. Again, old tires, Continentals, but they look like the, you know, they look the era. Uh, we're going to walk around the other side. We're just, I'm just going to put the light on the other side so we can see it. Showing you the Suzuki Water Buffalo. Uh, this bike runs and starts perfectly. Shifts through the gears perfect. Stops great. Needs nothing. Uh, it's just all been serviced. Original key. I believe that's the only one I have. Uh, there's the original key. You can look under the seat. See how nice it is. There's some surface rust on the seat pan, but you can see the foam in there. Look how nice that foam is. The seat's really padded nice. The bike was kept inside, heated storage. I guess, as I said, I put a uh, charger on it and a new battery. 
And look underneath here how nice everything is. No cracked inner fender. All the stops are on the seat pad. Uh, it stops and it latches nicely. All the, Everything's here. It's, this bike's not been changed around. Original air box, but works. How nice the side covers are. Uh, it's a kick start as well, besides electric start. And as I said, it starts instantly. We're going to show you a video of it running and driving. A uh, little bit, again, this is just patina from the age it is. A little bit of rust showing on the swing arm and around the foot pegs. Uh, but again, it, this bike's nice. You could put this bike in a museum if you did some more polishing on it. Uh, like the side cases and so on. Uh, that, that's how nice it is. And again, up front, you're looking at the... Uh, how nice the brakes are and, and look at the boots perfect condition and they're pliable uh, original horn look how nice the fork legs or the uh, ears are perfect gauges are nice the gauges look like brand new signals as well everything's original on this bike that's how nice it is i've said it over and over and over but you won't find another one nicer than this and it wouldn't be for sale if i didn't need to thin the herd out a little bit Trying to get some money gathered up by property. Uh, the tank, again, all original. Inside, there's a little bit of spotty rust. You know, not, not nothing serious, but it's not perfectly clean either. And then also, there was a little bit of paint peeled around the tank gas cap. There was some paint peeled and a couple of chips on the tank. I matched the color as close as I could and just brush touched it. Um, doesn't look the best, but it doesn't look bad either. I didn't want to do anything to the original paint of the bike. It would be uh, a sin to change or repaint the bike because it's that nice. Uh, I think I've touched base on everything. Again, the original exhaust with the original label. Bike's so original, other than the bars that had been changed, I can't see anything else that's not correct on the bike. And the way you hear it run, it runs like a two-stroke, like a big two-stroke. All right, we're going to take it for a ride next. We're gonna take the Suzuki Water Buffalo for a ride now. As I mentioned, this bike starts instantly and runs flawless. Um, it really is a hard one to part with. It, it really needs nothing. There's no apologies on this motorcycle. The clutch is nice and it feels great. Catches at a perfect place. Uh, shifts really smooth. Idles perfect. As I said, it starts instantly on the choke for 20 seconds and you're off of the choke and it just runs so nice. Um, you can see it in the natural daylight we just had a, a lot of pictures inside um, under light. But this bike, again, I, I'd give this bike a 9 on a scale from 1 to 10. Yeah, it's that nice. And I actually like 9s better than 10s anyways because you could ride them. All right, well, here we go. We're going to take her for a ride. Key on. The gas is on. Um, look. Not easy. Honest to God. I just rode it uh, up the driveway. That was it. And it started that easy down there on the truck. motorcycle ride. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a, it's a hard one to part with. Here's the head. 
headlight. Here's the high and low. Here's the signals. Rear with the red lenses. The other side. Brake light. Brake light. Everything works on this bike. It is nice. As I mentioned, I'm having a hard time seeing this one good on the road. Good luck bidding.